Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today it looks like we have a spider plant. I've had it sitting in the kitchen for a while, but I thought I'd bring it over here and talk about it a little bit. Uh, the spider plant is a gift from my friend that I visited not too long ago on my way back from my trip to Pittsburgh in, in uh, Philadelphia and Atlantic City. And I stopped in Cleveland because I have some friends in Cleveland and my friend was kind enough to give me this spider plant. The spider plant uh, doesn't take too much direct sunlight or too much water or too much attention. And it's a really nice house plant to have uh, for its low maintenance as well as its air purification. So here we have it, the spider plant. I'll put it right next to the mother's in law over here. Yeah, so I'm just stopping by at the house just for a little bit. I got done working today as a peer mentor and it was a good productive day. We got some good work done and uh, I'm happy with what we accomplished. Yesterday I worked a 14 hour shift before making my video yesterday and uh, made that video around uh, 11 30 12 o'clock or so when I finally got home and yeah we knocked that out but um, today we did some good work and I need to come here and knock out some more credentials because it's that time of year working as an in-home caregiver for us to renew all of our credentials and everything so we'll be taking care of that I have the crate for the puppy I'm gonna grab that and uh, take care of a couple other things I need to eat some food so I'm gonna cook some food I can't do much if I'm not well fed um, and yeah, so we need some food and take care of everything to take care of. But I was also excited about sharing something I got earlier today uh, with anyone out there who's willing to listen, something I can use for future workshops that I'm doing. And they have more than one use. And for these, I don't know if you ever went sledding before, but these are saucer sleds and they make them a little differently than the ones I was used to. The ones I was used to were perfectly round with white handles that popped out and broke. But these ones have handles built right into them just like this on the sides. And it's got a fairly good uh, plastic that can be uh, bent around for, uh, well, for sledding. When you're sledding, sometimes these things get banged up a little bit. And I guess we'll see how good they work as sleds, but to be perfectly frank, I wasn't getting these to sled in. No, because if you're new to my channel, you're probably wondering why you watched this video so far about some strange dude talking about houseplants. But I do weekly circus and flow arts tutorials. So right here, this is an example of something called pediddling. And pediddling is when you use something uh, relatively flat and wide, and you can spin it on the tip of your finger. You can even do this with a round ball, like you've seen people who play basketball, or who people can spin a ball on their finger. And that takes a different degree of skill than I can actually do myself. I can get lucky and manage to spin around a little bit, but I'm really uh, comfortable and feel confident with spinning flat objects almost perpetually with the tip of my finger. And I've made a tutorial on how to pediddle here on my channel. If you check out my playlist section, you can click on the Circus and Flow Arts Basics link, and it'll show you all of the content I've made so far this year. I've been hosting another Circus and Flow Arts tutorial every single Sunday. So I got these in case I teach another workshop in the future for the Circus and Flow Arts in person. And the reason I like these saucers for learning how to pediddle, or even uh, pillows on your couch, flat pillows on your couch, is that, uh, these move slower and you get more time to react and it's easier for you to learn the technique. There's a technique where you have to tighten around the center of the object you're spinning. You see there's a little wobble here, right? And you can almost see in the camera right here how my finger's on the center sticker. And the faster you spin it, the more stability you get and it stops wobbling as much. And the faster you spin it, the more your finger goes towards the center but your finger can't stay in the center forever, it eventually moves off. So all of this is explained in greater detail in my How to Pediddle video. So I was really excited about getting these earlier today when we were out uh, doing some errands for my client that I was working with as a peer mentor. So we got all the things done today. We, we did a great job, uh, got a lot of good work done. And uh, while we were there, I was able to grab these. Uh, so that's good. We got four of those for the next pediddling workshop I do in person. We'll see when that happens next. But uh, as of right now, though, I am so hungry and just wanted to make this daily post because if you're new to my channel, I have been posting every single day of this year and Circus and Floor, it's every single Sunday. For the people who are not new to this channel, sorry I keep saying this every video, but I feel the need to reiterate that because I never know who's coming into the channel and I want to point them in the better direction for the better quality content because the content I've been making lately is me talking into my camera phone that has been unedited altogether. Another experiment, if you will, I've been experimenting with posting every day, making edited content, and trying to streamline it to make it look, you know, 
polished. This is just kind of off the cuff talking into a camera. And I moved into this new house. My studio space at the old place is gone, so that kind of nixed the whole idea of editing videos for a little while while I focus on real life stuff, like getting this house ready for the baby that's coming. I'm having a baby. I'm really excited. I have a daughter coming in March. And uh, me and my beautiful girlfriend, we're going to uh, be teaming up and uh, providing a good life for this child to be. And I'm pleased as punch to do that. Um, but So right now I'm going to go get fed, uh, go do what I have to do, uh, pick up an office chair. I need an office chair for my, for my desk. And uh, yeah, get the dog crate, take it over to my girlfriend's house tonight, spend some time over there, some quality time, maybe snuggle up a bit with a movie. I hope so. And uh, take care of business tomorrow. I'm picking up a, uh, a crib for the baby and a baby changing station. And also visiting a friend who just got out of the hospital. I'm super, super happy. There's been a lot of unfortunate events in my personal life that I don't share everything here on YouTube. Um, I might share too much, and I know I don't share everything for sure. I keep a lot of things private in my life for how much I do share here on this channel. But uh, I'm very lucky and very happy that one of my friends that I've known for a long time, since I was just a little boy in fact, who used to babysit me, is now out of the hospital and off life support. So I didn't know they were on life support until they told me they've been off life support for three weeks now. So that's really good news, right? That's something to celebrate. Uh, so yeah, I gotta stay focused on the positive things and keep moving and just do the best you can. And on that note, I'm gonna end the video and end the video with the same words that I end most all my videos with, at least all the ones for the past five, six months. Uh, remember to never give up and to do your best to stay true to you and yourself and who you are and to be amazing. And all you got to do to be amazing is to be the best version of exactly who you are. All right. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see each other next time. Or you'll see me. You know how it is. Peace.